Okay, so today we're going to be talking about 1.6 and 1.8 Miata flywheels. So we've got two examples here. These ones are freshly machined, resurfaced, ready to go in the car. So the main difference that you'll notice between these, the one on this side here, this is a 1.6 flywheel, and they're quite easy to spot because if you look at it here, kind of from the side, you'll see it's almost completely flat. It is technically still considered a stepped flywheel. There is there's a small step in it there between where the pressure plate mounts and the actual where the friction surface goes. But the 1.8 flywheel that we have here is much more dramatically stepped. So you can see it's got these sort of towers on it. And that difference is basically the difference in the design of the pressure plates. Um, the 1.8 has like a very flat pressure plate, so it sits up on these little stands. And the 1.6 pressure plate is kind of like a dome. It actually sort of, it actually sits down and kind of fully encases um, the actual clutch disc. So the thing about these, functionally, they're virtually identical. Uh, the 1.6, the, the actual friction surface here and the clutch size is actually a, about a half an inch smaller. Um, this one for the actual friction surface here is about eight and a quarter inches. And then for the 1.8, it's uh, about eight and three quarters inches. So it's about a half inch more friction surface that you get. Um, really that amount of friction surface, you're really not changing anything functionally. They pretty much hold the same amount of torque. Um, what will change the amount of torque that they can hold when you get into, you know, upgraded clutches has to do with the springs and the pressure plate and the, the type of friction material. So you can find clutches that will handle large amounts of horsepower uh, that work on, on either size. As far as fitment in the car, either one of these will work on either engine. The, the bolt pattern is exactly the same for both of them. And the offset distance between basically the mounting face to the friction surface is the same for both of them. So really, even though we say this is a 1.6 and this is a 1.8 flywheel, really they can both be either. The only thing that matters is that if you're using a 1.6 flywheel, you are using a 1.6 clutch and pressure plate and then the same thing for the 1.8. It's like we showed how basically the stands, the mounting position and the diameter is slightly different. So what you will find sometimes is there's certain aftermarket suppliers that make an upgraded clutch and some of them only will work for 1.6. But what that means is a 1.6 flywheel. So in some cases, some manufacturers go with the smaller diameter and then they make their high torque, high horsepower clutch that works on the smaller diameter and you use a 1.6 flywheel. Um, and then the same thing for the 1.8. And that can get a little bit confusing because sometimes they won't explain all that to you. What they'll just say is they're like, oh yeah, this clutch fits all Miatas from 1990 until 2005. And then you go to put it in your car and you realize, well, great, yes, it does fit all Miatas, but it doesn't fit the flywheel that I have. So that's one of the things that you've got to watch out for. Usually it'll say in the fine print, um, but yeah, there's really no advantage or disadvantage um, to which flywheel you're going to use. And they make lightweight versions of both kinds. Um, I think generally it's a little more common that you find 1.8 stuff um, because the aftermarket, you know, they say, look, it's, it's got a half inch bigger friction surface for us to work with. Um, so I think you'll find a little bit more in the aftermarket that is 1.8 specific. But like I said, they'll list it as it fits a 1.6. So uh, just something to watch out for there. But yeah, that's really, that's kind of everything that you need to know about Miata flywheels. Um, and in both cases, they use the same pilot bearing that presses into the middle here. So uh, there's nothing really unique about them there. And we'll just take a quick look at the backside. Again, nothing really to see here. 
Uh, the one thing that actually, after you've done a lot of Miata clutch jobs that you start to find that is funny to me, is from the manufacturer, apparently when they attach the flywheel, it's so close in the manufacturing process to when they put the RTV to seal the, um, the oil pan, that what you find is there is actually still some RTV right here stuck to it from the oil pan. You can see it makes kind of the, the semicircle of how the oil pan is shaped there. Um, it's, it's actually pretty common. So I don't know, apparently when they were building these engines, there was not more than a few minutes of time between when the oil pan would go on and when the flywheel would go on, which is kind of interesting. So that's my little fun fact. All right, if you guys have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. I'll try to get back to everybody. And also, if you have any ideas for other sort of in-depth looks at individual parts you want to see, drop that in the comments, and uh, we'll try to get included in a future video. Thanks for watching.